Remembering passwords can be quite a chore, which is one reason that fingerprint security was developed. It's easy to use and nearly impossible to crack. Or is it? Here's John Blackstone. To the naked eye, these are nothing more than photos of some of today's biggest celebrities. To a hacker, these high-resolution photos with clear views of hands and fingers could be used to recreate a fingerprint. Jan Chrysler, a hacker in Berlin, Germany, claims to have done just that. Chrysler says these pictures of German Defense Minister Ursula von der Leyen were taken with a standard camera by a photographer from about 10 feet away. He says he was able to zero in on her fingerprints and reproduce them using readily available software. We spoke with him via Skype from his office. The, the, the whole security of the system relies on keeping something secret that isn't secret. So because you will show it around every time. Chrysler says there are serious flaws in biometric security using fingerprints. Days after the finger-scanning iPhone 5S was released, he successfully unlocked a phone at a hacker's conference by recreating a dummy finger, using glue to make a mold from a photographed fingerprint. He contends fingerprints are even less secure than passwords, because once they're stolen, they can't be changed. There's a lot of things worth a lot of money that can be, you know, information can be worth millions. Security expert Kevin Mandia says fingerprints should not replace passwords, but instead be used as a second layer of protection. Still, celebrities may be in more danger than most of us. It's not a scalable attack against general people. This would be a very targeted thing. You have somebody, their photos are publicly available, they're an important person, and the rewards outweigh the risks. But the risks are now great enough that cybersecurity and privacy are prominent at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas this week. Companies offering extra levels of protection see the potential for profit, offering new ways to keep consumers safe online. One company, Hitachi, has even developed a scanner that identifies a person by the veins in their fingers. John Blackstone, CBS News, Los Angeles.